Hello. Welcome to Distance Learning with Mr. Palminteri. I'm sorry I was distracted. In this video, I will be teaching you how to complete an assignment in BandLab using the website edu.bandlab.com. This is a program that if you are not signed up with an account, you'll have to watch my previous video on creating an account in BandLab with Mr. Palminteri. But for today's video, I will go through a screencast of me completing an assignment for one of the classes. Basically, how to find the assignment, start the assignment under teacher's assignment, and then go through the process. One recommendation I will make at this moment is, while you are recording your project at home, please remember to hit the Save button if you're going to do something else or you want to continue your recording at a different time. It will save the assignment, and then when you go back to it, you will be able to continue, pick up where you left off. You can also use this program if you just want to record yourself and listen back to how you sound. You can just open up a new uh, project under Mix Editor, and I will probably go through that in the screencast video too. So I hope you enjoy completing your first assignment in BandLab, and if you've already completed an assignment but just need a refresher, please feel free to use this video too. Enjoy! You will begin at Google. Remember, since you're recording on BandLab, you need to go to the correct website, edu.bandlab.com. When you get to this site, be sure you go over to Login. If you have not created the BandLab account, be sure to watch my previous video, Creating a BandLab Account. Okay? Since your account has already started, please click Login. And then when this screen pops up, Please remember to continue with Google because that's the way I had you set your account up. I will choose the account I'm using for today. Once it shows up, and most likely, you remember to hit continue here. Most likely, when you get in here, only in one class. If you're in choir, you're in two classes. For me, I'm only enrolled in 19. Uh, 19- dash 20 sixth grade band so I will go in there sixth grade had a one assignment piece seventh grade had a different assignment piece sixth graders were asked to play the end of prelude and dance percussionists were asked to play the end of ancient voices and inside here you'll see all the description of the assignment and you will just click start assignment and remember once you click start assignment you want to click teacher's assignment so that's what you're doing you're doing a teacher's assignment and then this may take a little while for the prepare the audio okay and once it's set up, you're going to pick the microphone. They're going to have five different samples, one, two, three, four, five, for you to choose from. You're going to click the microphone because you're going to be recording either your tuba, your flute, your drum, whatever you're playing, you're going to record that for the, um, for the recording to submit. Okay, so we're going to choose the voice. And as you can see, this is the record button. For those of you who have not used this program, the other thing, if you look over here in the assignment brief, you'll see woodwind brass students, please play the following measures, metronome marking 120 or higher. You'll see a 120 over here, which is good. The metronome is over here. You need to click this to make it green. If you want to make it any faster, you can just plus the plus button, minus button. You can hear it. You can hear it faster. For today's recording, we're only going to use 120, okay? So at that point, you would just press the record button. You will hear four clicks, and then you will start. The flute actually rests for four measures, so I'm counting those four measures. Rest. Four, two, ready, and do, 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 do. Do, and that's the end of the recording. Okay, you can play back to hear it. The flute actually rests for four, two, ready, and do, 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 do. And if you don't like it, you just hit the highlight it, hit the backspace key, and then hit back, go back to the beginning. Now I am going to record this using a little piano track today since I don't have an instrument with me right now. So you can hear this. Okay. So we are going to record again. I will count the rest in. Oh, I forgot to enable the metronome. So let's go back, enable the metronome, and we're recording for a second time. Two, 
three, four, two, ready, and. Great. If you know how to play the piano, this would be a fun thing to work on. But once you're done with this, you can submit. If you have any concerns or questions, you can add a note here. I tried my best, but I, let me take the spotlight off, but I think, but I don't know if I played the correct dynamics. Okay, and then you would just hit submit and you are done. And that's a basic way of completing an assignment. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And sometimes it will say it's processing when it's done. Just let it process, keep your computer open. It usually will work fine, so. All right, um, and I will make another video next week of me playing an instrument so you can see this from another angle. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching this video on how to complete your first assignment in BandLab. I hope your experience using BandLab will be a fun one. This is not meant to frustrate you or to make you angry, this is just a way for you to record yourself and send it to me, Mr. Siegel. We can both listen to your recordings, okay? As I stated in a previous video, we have Hess students right now recording their submissions for Mr. Rushmore, and he's already enjoying listening to them at home. So it's just another facet of the distance learning we're trying to do here at Davies. And just hope you enjoy your time at home using your computer, your tablet, your phone, and just have a great day.